All right, this is a little uh, video using NinjaFlex. I am using the MakerBot Replicator 2. And the MakerBot Replicator 2 does not have a heated panel. And I'm using this NinjaFlex from MakerGeeks.com. It's a very flexible material that needs to be extruded about, I don't, ah, it's, I think it said 215 to 225. Uh, when I measured the extruder tip though, I was having some real issues. First off, I could open it up and see that it was feeding okay, because this one's a spring-loaded, you have to have a spring-loaded extruder. And if you can see the spring right there, let's turn it sideways, you gotta have the spring to grab onto the, the filament. Uh, but the issue I was having was my tip wasn't actually heating up to the temperature that I was setting it down here. And so my solution was to raise it up 20 degrees from what I use for PLA. NinjaFlex recommends about the same for PLA and uh, the same temperature. And PLA on their website suggests a much lower temperature than what I extrude at. And these were the general settings that came with the, the MakerBot. So, Let's just watch this thing print out for a minute. It's going to be, I'm just going to speed this up and we'll take a look at it when it's done. all done. Now it was a little bit of stringy for just a moment when I was printing because of, of I was putting a little much too much pressure on the plate and this is a spring-loaded this is a spring-loaded plate uh, when I was resting my phone on there and so let's take a look how it looks. This right here is just regular green painters tape. I level the platform and I usually only use one layer. Okay it's a little stringy. I've heard you can cut that out, or you can cut the strings off. Um, but overall, by the way, a uh, little pop culture for you. Do you know what this symbol is of? I'll give you a hint. It's my little girl's TV show. So it's very bendy. Let me see if I can pull it out. All right, there it is. I have to still clean it up with a little scissors. But there is a bendy, there's a bendy little piece of, there's a bendy little toy. All right, let's review really quick. Um, my replicator too didn't heat up well enough. So when I was making this, I had to, I was just, I just used low quality. I had to increase the temperature to 250. Uh, and also it was recommended from a lot of people to ch uh, change the speed. And so I just slowed down the speed quite a bit for using this rubbery material. Um, it looks like by using the tape I don't have to use a raft. I did it that time. It actually took a lot longer <laughs> because I used the raft. Um, and that's how I used NinjaFlex on a Replicator 2. Thanks for watching.